Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. So we're starting midweek, it's now Thursday. Today me and Carrie are off to like an end of summer party with Essie, the nail polish brand. And we're getting picked up from mine in about an hour's time. I'm just waiting for Carrie to come here. I've still got my dressing gown curls in. I'm wearing this denim dress. I would have ideally just wore this on its own because it's supposed to be like end of summer. But apparently it's forecast to rain all day. So in true British style, we're gonna be layering up in summer, <laughs> maybe a little cardigan or something, um, because I am a hot little girl. And the party's in Windsor, so we're staying in Windsor tonight. I've only ever been to Windsor when my cousin was performing in Panto with the West End. And then I think maybe for a school trip to Windsor Castle years and years ago, maybe if that was a thing but i don't think i can't remember anything about it and i haven't really explored it and i know it's quite a small place so we'll be able to see a lot of it in a short space of time but the event the party thing is at oakley court and from what i've seen online it looks absolutely beautiful we're staying at the castle hotel in windsor um windsor town mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm just making myself some crumpets. Otherwise, I know I'm going to be really hungry because we're going, we're sort of like maneuvering our way there at lunchtime. And it's actually going to take us, I think, over an hour to get there because of London traffic. And even if it's not traffic, it's just like the traffic lights slow traffic down so much. So hopefully we get there in good time and there's not too much traffic because I've really been feeling travel sick recently and it's not been the one. I've also had therapy yesterday. Therapy. <laughs> I had therapy yesterday and I had like an absolute breakdown. I literally went in talking about something super tame. A lot linked to, a lot of the stuff I talked about actually linked to birthdays and how I hate them. Like I used to absolutely love them. I love the idea of planning them. I feel like I love the idea of other people's birthdays and organization maybe. Um, but I feel like I hold like a lot of, not trauma, that's a bit too far, but like a lot of negative emotions around birth my birthday and expectations and feeling disappointed and yeah not being able to deal with that like pressure and stress of it and i think just with my birthday coming up and like just things happening in my life and evaluating things it's just yeah i just actually had a breakdown in my session yesterday i couldn't stop crying I had a, a, like a headache all day. I just felt completely drained from life. Like I didn't want to do anything. Like easy, easy tasks like putting a wash on. I felt like I physically couldn't do it. It was like too heavy for my body to deal with. And it was like freaking me out a little bit because that was how I was when I was like really depressed at uni. Um, so yeah, that yesterday was very, very bad, um, which is why I haven't vlogged really the start of the week. So we're in a better spirit today, maybe because I've got this to focus on and going to Windsor with Carrie. I have my birthday coming up and the people that can make it and I appreciate so much are coming this weekend and that's all that matters. I spoke to my mum on the phone last night, which really helped and my family are coming on Sunday. So yeah, I'm having like birthday celebrations with everyone, like friends and family and then my actual birthday is on the Monday. So I'll be working and Aiden will be working, but Aiden's taking me out for dinner in the evening, bless him. And I actually don't know where he's taking me. He's keeping it a surprise and he always finds that like, the best places that I've never heard of in London which is so cool I feel like I end up discovering quite a lot of places because of my job so the fact that he can find places that I've never heard of is really interesting that are actually good decent places as well so if it goes well which I'm sure it will do because he'll have done his research I will share that with you on Monday but yeah I'm gonna I think I'm gonna vlog this keep my birthday in here as well you're in for a right treat right I'm just gonna eat my crumpets while I wait for them to come out the toaster and hopefully not burn them Hopefully we'll be ready to go. I think I've packed all my stuff, but you know when you're just like, there's always something you miss. And I'm trying to figure out what that is. <laughs> Going back to so we've made it to Windsor <laughs> <laughs> and weirdly Carrie was telling me about a nursery rhyme from her hometown in Banbury. I said do you know this nursery rhyme because where I'm from so we sing all the time it goes ride a cock horse to Banbury cross to see I live in Banbury right so there's this thing in my town centre the girl on the horse with rings and things bells on her toes whatever I was saying Charlotte do you know she was like yeah do you think I've heard about it I was like maybe we sing it more because I live in Banbury we walk into the fucking room and this is the basically the statue that's in Carrie's hometown I'm sure what are the chances we do? I'm going to show you the That is so baffling. Many people know this and it's like common knowledge, I don't fucking know. What are the chances though that you've mentioned that for the this... first time since we've known each other in the last six years? The... <sighs> and it's the same... Unless this is a different statue, but I mean it looks fucking similar it to me. So... Yeah. Unless this is something else, because this has got quite London vibes, like there's parakeets. What is mm. this building? Is that Windsor Castle? Yeah. Wait, maybe there's something to the horse in Windsor Castle. 
Let's We're going to have to find out. Horse lady. Yeah, how lovely is this little space? There's even like a little balcony outside as well through here. Which is to the car park, but still. It's really cutesy vibes and the um, hotel have a restaurant which we're going down for breakfast in the morning it looks so cute it's all like leafy greenery cutesy oh so cute but yeah the bed looks lovely lovely little scary painting inside here we have coffee and teas and a mini bar yeah i think it's just got water and milk in um safe as well and the bathroom's actually really lovely Nice lighting, we need to do our makeup basically because um, we're here with Essie for a end of summer party. Oh, yeah, not nice. many biscuits. <laughs> oh my god, these yeah. were order. Lovely, and then there's another one. Well. Is that golden oat crumble? Yeah. Yay! Wait, let me show. Oh, sorry. No, it's not sorry. Oh. Yeah, it's <laughs> joking, it is really! Is it? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. And then there's something else. I used to have this at the old place that I used to work, and everyone. Um, after a while knew that they were my favourite biscuits so if anyone was working at any of the other suites they'd bring them back for me Somebody come get her She's dancing like a strip Right, yeah, so hey. we're here with Essie Might have to have a little bookie just to For a little summer, yeah, me too For a little summer end of pa year party No, end of summer party And they're doing it like festival carnival theme so there's going to be like games The weather's not the best but it's currently not raining So that's good, right? Isn't that true? Oh yeah, finger tattoos, um, hair braiding, manicures, beaded bracelets. beaded bracelets, and apparently yeah, those are carnival games. So I'm imagining like hook a duck for some reason, mm. things like that, or like or like plum. Mm. Or yeah, bean bags that throwing mm. things down. Yeah, I'd love to see how they execute it. And they're doing it at Oakley Cup Court. I forgot to show you photos of that. Mm. Oh, I've got a phone on Right. right. We'll see when we've done our makeup. Or maybe you just stay there actually. Oh, I brought that fucker. Why have I put two deodorants in? I'm going loco, guys. Yeah, I'm my music. I need music. Should I just put it on? The sky and music. Do we really need to... Look at that. I've got oh, my, my hair fucking is viral in front. Look how much my hair is falling out. That was a big mistake. Did you have it down? Yeah. I'll tell you. Put it on. P-O-C-O-L-O-C-O. I basically got Carrie to watch Coco and she loved it. What, what? Yeah. You make me in Poco Loco. Yeah. So we randomly got picked up to be brought to Oakley we Court because we, that. yeah, we suddenly got like a call saying someone was waiting for t to take us outside. So that was a really nice surprise. And here we are, it's actually really beautiful. Like I think I said earlier, like people have weddings here and it's just like I a nice ground. Yeah. Like I would love to have like a big ground where everyone's Yeah, I'd love to be married here, like never ever before. Like, yeah, like, I'll, I'll do I would it. love to do that. <laughs> just currently trying to find where everything is being oh, yeah. set up. Yeah. There's, a helter, said, there's a helter skelter. Oh, I bet that's so sad it's not um, sunny, sunny, yeah. Sunny. At, least At least it's not, not like, yeah, torrential. Yeah. Right, I think we're going to be one of the first ones here because it's quite early. Although we just saw a massive shuttle bus. Oh, yeah, cool. It's probably come from London, so. Interesting how many people yeah. here in general. Like, what's I wonder if we'll know anyone. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we won't for some reason. Got yeah. Name, True, because we don't really go to a lot of beauty it. events, do we? It's more lifestyle. There's got to be people here if it said it was from half two and it's now ten to three. Yeah. You know? music. Oh, yeah, music. Okay. Good sign. This is so random. That house is so cute. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're so I love Windsor. We love Windsor. I'm going to live here one day. Just How oh, cute! We made friendship one day. Exactly the same. <laughs> Say like the effort that Essie have gone to. They've had this like branding thing for the burgers. The music's really loud now. Oh. <laughs> and we've got our matching bracelets. They're a bit crazy. It's not interlude by me. Charlotte's gone up on the house skelter. Um, I actually couldn't be bothered to try and do the stairs in my cowgirl boots. So she's at the top somewhere. Can we go around to see her? Can kind of see her. Woo! Fun. We'll update you more on the Essie event maybe tomorrow. But for now, we've got our Care Bears, our Essie Care Bears that we won from tickets. Um, in bed with us, we're watching celebs go dating, and we've ordered a fat Domino's. So. 
so that's good for us. Yeah, true. Half queens. <laughs> We're so healthy, actually, this time. <laughs> We've had two bags of chocolate in the background. <laughs> Me and Carrie go down to breakfast. Yeah, we're gonna go try out the breakfast and we'll let you know what's happened in the last 12 hours because we haven't told you. Here's breakfast, how cute. It's so cute. Savory first and then we're gonna, I'm gonna go back for some free. So we've just come out to have a little explore. We just had breakfast, it was actually really nice. Our hotel is literally just over here. Yeah, the red flag. Um, and yeah, look, this is how close it is to the castle. Look. It is called the Castle Hotel, so yeah. it kind of does make sense. We said that to the guy who um, was here, we were like, I wonder how close he was. He was like, it's called the Castle Hotel right next to me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but yeah, lots of roadworks and scaffolding, but over here looks super cute. Yeah, if we just zoom in, in, how lovely would it be to live in a place like this? I just need like a tiny bit more stimulation. Right, so it is now Saturday. I've got my friends over for my birthday. Me and Carrie had the best time at Essie. I feel like we haven't filmed much since, but yeah, it was just absolutely amazing. Like everything that they went and put an effort into, like I couldn't believe I was there. We felt so nostalgic because we used to love the, the brand growing up. And um, yeah, and I've literally been crying all morning and I have no idea why. I think it must be something to do with my hormones because nothing's really set it off. There's literally nothing stressful about today. I don't know if I'm just putting too much pressure on myself for my birthday. Um, and literally I've only got a couple of my close friends coming around. Like it's not deep and we're playing games, but I just feel like so upset and stressed and weird. Um, yeah, I'm just come to meet Hattie downstairs and let her in. She's just arrived. I'm feeling a little bit better now, but I've got myself all ready. <laughs> you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. You see love, you see love, you see love, you see love. My favourite people in the world. We're just waiting on Ellie. <laughs> Aiden just mashed up nine avocados. No, it's six. Six avocados to make this delicious guac. Yeah, really oh. more avocado. Right, so we're currently setting up the scoreboard for the day because my birthday is not including get, going out and being crazy. It's the being scoreboard. crazy indoors with That's my girls. <laughs> um, we've got all the Do snacks get, out. Do you get extra point for doing that? Yeah, no. Do you get extra point because it's your birthday? No. Wow. And that is yeah. true sportsmanship Aww. but yeah we've got all of these games out that we're gonna play i got all of the best ones but i actually just got some like cards and other weird shit out like that we might not play but i definitely want to do herd mentality yeah. have you all played that yeah. before you've I played that you haven't only once ages ago i'm at a disadvantage here because you've all played this already the only one i've played is Articulate. Articulate, which was with you. This is what me and Hat bought the other week when I came to Hattie's for her birthday. Um, it was really fun, but we just played it me and her, so it might be nice to play it as like a bigger group, but quite stressful actually at the same time. I feel like it might cause some arguments. Oh. So I have to, to draw them without dignity and I'm good at that. Yeah, that. that's fun, you will like that. It's like, no that. oh yeah, and my... Hour of, flat. Hour of Flat, the naughty Pictionary. <laughs> like, oh, I don't think we, I think there was too many people. I think we were like, fuck that. And um, what else have we got? Oh yeah, Articulate's just a classic. This is quite fun, like shot in the dark. I don't know who I played this with, I can't remember. Like, how long did Britney Spears' shortest marriage last? Or how many litres of vodka does the average Russian, per Russian person drink a year? Like some of them I'm like, I have no fucking idea. We've got Linky, oh it kind of matches my nails. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is one of my favourite games. It's actually quite hard, but I like hard games because I don't like them to be too easy. Why? 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 So yeah, there's loads of random cards in like a deck, and so you take it in terms of be a quiz master. You read out da -da -da -da, four questions, and you write down the, you, the answers, and they link, and you shout Linky, and like what they, how I they link. I played this with Charlotte's dad. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> so, every time I was just like. Planets or <laughs> something shit. <laughs> sometimes, no sometimes, these, sometimes these games that articulate make like show how you realise. Yeah, but, yeah. but, but then it like helps. That's, that's, that's what I mean. <laughs> God, yeah. So yeah, this makes me feel stupid, and I like it, which is kind of fucked up. No, um, I like it when I'm in the escape room, and she basically comes with genius, and my head was so big for like today. <laughs> I want to play this while I still got some life in me because it's quite active and Aiden hates it because he has to get up and do something. 
as you can see here there's like quite a little thing i think you like go against each other like which player can remain in a 90 degree angle against the wall oh, for the longest shit. or which player can give the loudest whistle which player can write down the names of four objects starting with t that are present in the room well, first really so like stuff like that <laughs> well me and carrie sat out of base we got invited to like a thing with essie and yeah. um, the other day in windsor oh, and we sat out of musical chairs because i was scared i was going to push someone over like to get a chair <laughs> And then she was like, I can't play. My yeah. is almost a weakness. Yeah. Unless it comes to a survival. Yeah, I just thought I'm actually going to hurt. Like, because someone just literally just bugged them slightly. And she was like, oh, it's just a game. Like, uh, da, da, da. And I was like, well, I'm glad I didn't play. Because I would have actually, like, thrown someone off with all my body weight. Sometimes you have to just sit out when you're like that. You did sit out when we played bingo at um, my party ages ago once. Because you were like, I can't win this. It's a game of luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got loads of little snacks around the room as well. I've got more teasers, squashies, like all my favourite snacks. And it's some of other people's, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. God, so many games. It's making me so happy. And if we do multiple rounds, we can just score more in that box. Yeah. You articulate and do it twice, three, well. Oh, it's kind of Oh, lovely. Great. And then we can get a to Oh, I should have got we're doing arts and crafts now we're doing these little shells so we make them we get them where's the actual look at shells which one do you want i don't mind which, which one um it's like a little trinket dish and then we like i was gonna say paper mache but what's it called decoupage decoupage um, the front bit and then paint the back gold ellie's here as well yeah how cool these are four pounds from the works such a bargain there was loads of like little kids ones as well and then some like adult-y yeah i know i know i'm just not good enough for it it's not quite there yet. yours looks sick oh. so we all finished our painting ellie has just had to run away for her sister's birthday we're all gonna go to our room now and get ready for bed because it's getting late and we're gonna have to get ready because 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 we're gonna have to and this was Hats. This is Hats' new cat, Bramble. Um, and there, we're just leaving them out here. I was going to say to dry, but most of them are dry already, aren't they? Apart from yours, maybe. But yeah, how cool. Like, I feel like we almost, almost all went for like a very similar theme. Very cute. Cute scene. Now what? Games? That's a bit of a Thank you so much for everything. Your eyes look lovely in the sun. Look in the sun. I like a pirate. <laughs> And also, Pot and Rice, the brand that I'm currently, I currently have a bubble tea collaboration with, are um, giving us some food and my Just bubble tea drinks. Out, yeah. yeah. So how fun! We're gonna go f grab them. Well, Aiden's gonna be kindly go and grab the food. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna enjoy that this evening. Play some games with. Um, also got a cold case which i'm so excited about so i think i've spoke about these on here before but cryptic killers have these like cold case murder mystery file things and you like f have a full-on evening um basically solving this murder mystery and me carrie and aiden have literally bought three and we've got two right one wrong like they're actually quite hard and we've spent like three four hours like trying to solve them and um, because they give you so much evidence and all this stuff i'll show you when we open it later because in like a literal case file basket you have to like hack onto the police department system thing and um, by finding like codes and stuff and we just find all that stuff so fun it's gonna be the best and so far we've only played one game which was noggin and we're gonna play articulate now is everyone ready for articulate? I've got so cool, my message. I was thinking about what we were talking about this week, didn't we? We need to set a time for cold case. Yeah. Just showing Hattie that one of the cryptic killers like file things. They literally come in like evidence bags. Just ones that we've done before. Hi. Oh my god. But yeah, so you make sure you've got everything as well. And if not, they give you stuff online, like if they've missed out something, which they never have. <laughs> Newspaper. Three finals. <laughs> so Aiden cycled to go get our pot and rice. We've got my juicy peach teas, which I actually want to get a pick of us all. Yeah, bless his little. We love Aiden. Um, yes, please. And um, yeah, we've got duck bao buns, the Taiwanese chicken. These are like all my favourite sides that pot and rice do. Then we've got yeah, dumplings, spicy edamame, kimchi, egg and spring onion cheng fun. Absolutely amazing. Thoughts. Uh, Good? You yeah, both happy? Oh no, sorry, sorry. You come sit here and I'll go around there. You said it, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Charlotte. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Woo! Hip hip!
Hooray! Happy birthday! Thank you! <laughs> Can we get some claps? Oh, it's so Thank you! I just, I literally hey, wait, put some, I was like... Hip hooray after? I thought it was going to blow up. No, I'm just being stupid. It's wrong. I, really I, was, I literally was carrying this. I was like... Wait, she's 25, right? <laughs> I was like... Fuck, is she not 25? It's so cute! I'll make a brand new start of it In old newly birthday celebrations around two. I've got my family coming over today. It was so nice to have all of the girls over. Um, just have a really cute, wholesome day. It's exactly what I've always wanted for my birthday. So I'm very appreciative and grateful for that. Oh, Aiden also bought me a beautiful red velvet cake. Red velvet is one of my favorite flavors. So I was very happy about that. Um, and yeah, I'm just waiting for my family to arrive. I think my parents are coming. They're bringing the dog, my nan, and then my auntie and my little cousin Sophie. So they should be arriving any second. I'm just looking out and there's actually plenty of parking spaces, which is good news. It's gonna be a lovely day. It's literally like the exact same vibes. Just want it to be really cozy and chill. It's actually really hot today. We have all of the little snacks I've just been sorting out back here. I absolutely love this hat. Got me the strawberry vase for my birthday and it is so cute. I've wanted one for absolutely ages. So I'm really happy about that. I've got the nuts, crisps, cookies, sweets, chocolate. Maybe put a little bit of makeup on. Make myself feel a bit nice. Yeah, I'm also so happy with mine and Aiden's artwork. Like, I can't wait. I really want to make this rise and grind thing on the wall. It's like a neon light. I really want to, like, move it to the right and just make the plaster this with, like, loads of fun, colourful, like, artwork. And I feel like me and Aiden, I was expecting to just make, like, a, a shitty little thing and not want to put it up. But I actually really like my Mon Cherie. And by the way, I do know that Sherry doesn't mean cherry in... <laughs> French and then Aiden's really cool like geometric style painting as well so we've got a breadstick <laughs> wrapper but yeah I've just put them there for now and um, just out the way and then hopefully we'll be able to mount them on the wall soon maybe a few more pieces before we do that because I don't want it to look like too odd I've got my birthday presents under the tree I actually didn't film anything on my family today I thought I was going to but we ended up just like really relaxing like I even fell asleep whilst they were here which I kind of felt bad about but um everyone was sort of like dozing off because it was so hot it was 28 degrees today and I think it's gonna be the exact same tomorrow I feel like it's gonna be my hottest birthday ever like I can't remember it being this warm for a birthday ever and I also still feel in that weird mindset even though it's actually three years since I've finished uni like I feel like I'm going back to education every time it comes to my birthday I'm like oh what's coming up it feels like there's like a weird life change or shift and there's just nothing it's just the same so yeah I had that weird realization again the other day um but now I am choosing to spend my birthday eve watching wild child i don't think aiden's ever watched it before so we're giving him a lesson everyone's seen wild child right i feel like it's a very teen girl film to have on in the books like angus thongs and perfect snogging maybe pop some popcorn even though i've literally just been eating snacks as my diet for the past couple of days <laughs> not a detox afterwards but I, f I feel like i'm lacking some vegetables <laughs> So hopefully tomorrow's dinner we eat some vegetables. I'm really excited to find out where Aiden's taking me for my birthday as well. Like, because he said he doesn't think I'm going to have heard it before. Yeah, that was exciting. I'll obviously take you along and share what we get. I'm just really intrigued as to what cuisine it's going to be more than anything. Because I remember Aiden took me to a really delicious Lebanese restaurant. As you can't remember what it was called as well, but it was absolutely amazing. And the, um, there's like belly dancers that come around and do performances around by the tables. What was that plate, Lebanese place that you took me for my birthday the other year? Ka no. I thought it was a K for some reason. I was just saying you're really good at finding like really cool spots in London, like you know, and, and then you took me to that cocktail bar, Oriole. Yeah, the Oriole, that was good. That was really I lovely and it was like live music and chill vibes. Obviously like a little bit spennier, but it's great birthday it's location. Like, sort of the list of the speakeasy. Speakeasy, yeah. What what do you like, yeah, how do you define a speakeasy? Just like live music, like old live music. The speakeasy is more like a hidden it's like a oh, prohibition vibe. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense though. Is it Kenza, a you're right. Kenza, yeah. No, you're I right. did know it was a K. Yeah. It's actually amazing. Like the performance like, it adds to it as well. And the food was delicious. I wasn't expecting you to pick a Lebanese restaurant. Right, ready to watch Wild Child? <laughs> Very sweet. Very sweet. 
that's the first time ever. Guys, it's my actual birthday today. I actually can't remember if I said, basically, earlier on this week, I had a therapy session and it made me like really, really emotional. And I have been crying all week. I think it's got to be something to do with my, oh my God. I think it's got to be something to do with like my periods or menstrual cycle in some way. There's this book that I need to fully read, this one, where it's um, period power and it says that it ha you can harness your hormones because obviously you learn so much about your cycle. So um, by that I mean like I will know what is going on in my body and like when my hormones make me more emotional or more angry or more hungry, you know? So I actually need to read that because this week must have been one of the weeks where crying emotion sensitivity is on a high and for someone who is already a highly sensitive person it's not ideal and i think it may i don't know it must be a combo of some things and i think i've just got to accept that there's not always an answer or a solid reason why something is happening but it's probably just a combination of like birthdays weird triggering times i feel like my whole life this period of my life I'm going back to school and obviously I don't do that anymore and it's only the last three years I haven't been in education where I always feel like I'm about to step into like a new generation or chapter of my life and it doesn't feel like that so much anymore now that there's no like school to go back to I'm just like continuing work like usual um but yeah I have just been quite like I cried this morning you might have seen in the vlog when I was opening my cards like Aiden's mum's message just sent me into tears I could have cried because Aiden's grandparents rang me and sang happy birthday to me and they were so cute our nephew rang me this morning i could have cried at that and yeah just everything is setting me off yesterday like no saturday morning before everyone came carrie was already here because there was train strikes so she couldn't even get home between um our trip to windsor and my birthday so she just stayed here for an extra day which was lovely as well because she could help me set up and everything and it was literally only hattie and ellie coming over literally two of other friends were coming over and i was stressing so much about them not having a good time me not having enough food thinking they're gonna have a boring shitty day and hate me like honestly i was just going spiraling and i i felt like really unorganized and weird and anxious and i've just yeah burst into tears and something like good got confirmed and happened on that day and it made me more upset for some reason. Like I feel like my just body or brain wasn't functioning right or there was some signal that had got cut off somewhere and yeah, it just didn't make any sense. But yeah, I don't want anyone to think like, oh, Charlotte had like a really lovely birthday with all of her lovely friends, which did happen, but there was other elements of my birthday that I just didn't film like me having that breakdown in the middle of the morning but yeah i just got some fresh air and i've tried to like accept that it's got to be something to do with my hormones because this is not normal <laughs> it's my actual birthday and i'm trying to stay on the positive high vibe um but it's okay if i don't as well so i just wanted to show you some of the presents that aiden got me because i actually didn't film that so he got me my favorite ever setting spray urban decay yeah i, feel, I always feel bad when people buy me gifts because i just love spending time with people but i'm obviously very grateful so He's got my favourite beauty product, which is Urban Decay Setting Spray. He's got me some more film for my camera because I love taking photos. I love trying new creative things. So he's bought us some modelling clay so we can maybe make some like coasters and different things for the house and paint them, which is just amazing. And then he's bought me a book because I don't buy myself enough fiction books and I always feel like I need to be buying non-fiction and learning something constantly. But that is not the case. That is just toxic productivity culture that's made me think that so Aiden has actually bought me a fictional book that I've been meaning to read for ages The Handmaid's Tale he's bought me this matcha whisk that I mentioned the other day he's very thoughtful he remembers things and then to top it off he's got me a new board game from my favorite game brand which is Big Potato Games you know who'd have thought someone would ever say they have a favorite game brand but I am the queen of board games and this these are my favourite. They just create some really cool, weird games. They're perfect for parties, Christmas. I literally cannot wait to say it because I was like, Aiden, you smashed it. This is going to be amazing at Christmas. Everyone's going to love it. It's called You Can't Say Um. So basically, it's like a, it's a describing game. So if you know Articulate, or Articulate, Articulate, like a fast talking describing game to your team, you have to, yeah, obviously describe and explain things without using the word. It's basically like that, but you cannot say um, uh, make weird noises whilst you're trying to explain something. So you lose points and the other team gets points every time you fuck up and say that. And yeah, Aiden's taking me out for a tie tonight. I found out it's Thai cuisine we're going for. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Thank you to anyone who has sent me something for my birthday. I think I've got back to like every single message because I always feel like people have taken that time out of their day to message me happy birthday. I can take the time out of mine to say thank you. Let's get back to working. I'm going to edit a couple of videos and then I'm going to just chill. Maybe even start this book or maybe read my period one and then read this after.
just got ready for my birthday meal after scrapbooking. I'm wearing an all brown outfit. This top I think is, yeah, Princess Polly. And then these jeans are ASOS, but they are literally so big for me. I really need to get a belt. I was going through like a weird body phase and basically bought like two sizes more than I needed, um, which was just stupid. A belt for this really, but I'm just gonna hoist them up. <laughs> I'm gonna wear trainers a little bag maybe my little I've got like a little khaki this is Princess Polly as well actually it's a little khaki like chill bag kind of goes with the vibes yeah, this is my <laughs> bloated belly from the weekend of lots of snacks and food pre-food as pre like dinner as well so that's fun but I'm um, just not gonna let that stop me from wearing what I want to you know and taking up my headspace yeah let's go we're gonna head to the restaurant now and I'll show you what we get so perfect 